Hello and welcome to our new Iblebit show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today we're talking about dust plumes, Facebook, the space station, and more. Let's get going. After weeks of controversy, former CEO and founder of CrossFit, Greg Glassman is selling his business. After a tweet on June 6th about the death of George Floyd, Glassman and the CrossFit brand have been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons, and therefore he has decided to sell his part of the business. The buyer, Eric Rosa, is the former senior vice president and general manager of Oracle Data Cloud. Rosa released a statement on Twitter saying, quote, since I have discovered CrossFit 10 years ago, it has changed my life, and I'm deeply honored to have the opportunity to lead CrossFit through its next chapter, end quote. So can the CrossFit brand survive under new ownership? Major brands have recently suspended their ad campaigns on Facebook due to the platform's handling of misinformation and hate speech. Film distributor Magnolia Pictures says that it is, quote, seeking meaningful change at Facebook and the end to their amplification of hate speech, end quote. Major brands like The North Face, Eddie Bauer, and Ben & Jerry's have also halted advertising on the site. As a result, other companies are likely to follow in their footsteps and turn to other platforms like Snap and TikTok to sell their ads. Parts of the southern United States now have another health concern to worry about on top of the COVID pandemic. A dust plume originating from Africa is headed across the ocean to the U.S. While dust plumes are not unusual, some experts say this could be the largest in 50 years and can even be seen from the space station. Experts warn that the cloud could trigger air pollution alerts, which is a problem due to the fact that COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. Environmental health expert Gregory Wellenius says, quote, just because we're in a pandemic world doesn't mean that other hazards that we tend to worry about aren't happening, end quote. LeBron James and business partner Maverick Carter have raised $100 million to kickstart their media business, Spring Hill Co. The duo describe it as a media company with an unapologetic agenda, a maker and distributor of all kinds of content that will give a voice to creators and consumers who've been pandered to, ignored, or underserved. The company already produces shows like The Wall and The Shop Uninterrupted and has plans for many more. LA investor Paul Walker says this is a company designed to move the culture. Two space station crew members will go on spacewalks to replace aging batteries in the lab's solar power system. Chris Cassidy and Robert Behnken, who launched to the space station via a Russian spacecraft on April 9th, will go on two spacewalks scheduled for today and next Wednesday. The multi-year project is replacing 36 of the 48 batteries with 18 smaller, more efficient lithium-ion units. The mission could take up to four spacewalks to complete and doesn't sound like a job for your local electrician. The Government Accountability Office found that the IRS and Treasury Department accidentally sent out around $1.4 billion to deceased individuals. The Social Security Administration maintains death records and the IRS uses the death records to prevent any improper payments. Because of legal interpretations, the first three rounds of relief checks that were sent out in order to rapidly try to stabilize the economy did not use those records. From recommendations made by the GAO, the IRS should try to notify ineligible recipients on how to return the money. What they did not say is how to do that with those who are deceased. That's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, <clears throat> be current, and start trends. Thank you for tuning in to Able Bits. We'll see you later. Goodbye.